Okay, come on in. We have core plus stretch today. Thanks for joining class. All you need is a mat, and then we'll start with some standing exercises and move it down to the ground. So we have a three minute warm up. Let's get going. Okay, so let's start with a squat to a balanced quad stretch. Same thing, other side. Squat, balanced quad stretch. Just kind of going at your own pace here. Again, start your devices if you are tracking. Friendly reminder. Opening up through that shoulder. So Thursday's class, in studio only, we have uh, 15 spots. 15 spots. Pre-register for your time, your uh, spot. One more each side. Good. All right, little hamstring stretch. Hinge it forward. Arms go up and around. Same thing, other side. So the nice thing about this class, hi, is you can do this in your work clothes or you can change if you want. But it's a nice for 25 minutes. Good. And then, yep. <laughs> Just letting you know, Nancy. <laughs> One more each side. Good. You will see this move in our workout today. Wide stance, arms reaching up. Lateral flexion from side to side. So a little stretch through the sides of our body. Internal and external obliques are working. Good. Inhale and exhale one more each side. Good. Stay with your wide stance, circle the arms down and around, sink it as low as you can, and now stand it back up, circle the arms up and around. And again, sink it low and return. Down low. And up, so hip mobility. Good. Two more. Last one. And let's do a nice roll down. Your feet are hip distance apart. Take a deep inhale. I'm gonna turn to the side here. Nod your chin, roll it forward, one vertebrae at a time. Nice spinal mobility. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, roll it back up. And now roll your shoulders back. Let's do it again. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, nod your chin, rounding it forward. Think of your spine as a strand of pearls. And you're gonna roll it down one vertebrae at a time. And then same thing all the way back up. Roll your shoulders back, let's do it one more time. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, rounding it forward. And now roll it back up. And roll your shoulders back. We start into our workout and we're gonna go into a squat, slam it down. Reach it up, lateral flexion, center. Down and up, other side. So you're powering from your core, from your upper body. Good. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Perfect. Nice way to get out some aggression here. Now we have about another 10 seconds, and then we hold it down for an isolated twist. Three, two, one, clasp the hands together, twist side to side. Now, you are keeping it super tight through your abdominals here. I'll kind of give you a visual from the side. And the movement, think of it as a clock. We are moving from about a 10 o'clock to a two o'clock. We're about shoulder distance apart. Stay low through your legs. Good. Now with your arms, push the hands together. Push them. So it incorporates our pec muscles a little bit more. We're gonna go into a standing crunch. Three, two, one, arms up, curl, curl. Curl. So thinking about bringing the elbows toward the thighs, but without touching. And I'll give you a visual from the side again. So it's like a standing crunch. 
We're getting that flexion forward. You don't necessarily have to go at this pace. You go a little bit slower if you need to. Coming up next, we're gonna hold it into a high plank. High plank. I'll give you some modification options. Almost there. Four, three, two, quick, quick transition down onto your mat. High plank, hold it here. Now options, you can bring it onto all fours and uh, lengthen at your hips or bring the knees in and hold here as well. Holding it here, just a plank, one long line. Squeeze your glutes, pull up and out of your shoulders so you're creating that flat back. You got it. Now you have 10 seconds left, and then we go into a side plank hip dip to a needle thread. Three, two, one, at home, onto your right side. Stagger your feet, lift it up, hip dip, and thread the needle, hip dip. Thread the needle, option. You can lower the bottom knee down to the ground, okay? Gives you a little bit more stability. Doing good. So this first round, we're gonna go only do one side only, one side only. Five, three, two, and one. Onto your back, flex it forward. We have a single leg stretch. It's kind of like a bicycle. The outside hand is gonna reach down to your ankle. Inside hand comes to the inside of your knee. So this comes directly out of Matt Pilates. Keeping the flexion forward. Slightly nod your chin in toward your chest. Woo! 20 seconds left. And then we end with a hip bridge. Really sink your navel to your spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Both feet down, lift your toes, dig your heels. Press your hips up and down, up and down. Try to shift your weight forward over your feet as much as you can, engaging your glutes and hammies. Now we're gonna do little pulses, hold it up, tiny dip and lift, tiny dip and lift. So it's just a small, small movement. Doing good. 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, and one, and rest. Awesome job, everyone. Come on up to your feet. We're gonna run through that again. We have about a 20 second break left. Grab a quick drink of water. So this second round at home, you'll be doing your left side for your side plank hip dip thread needle. We start with the wide stance, squat to lateral flexion. Reach your arms up. Here we go in three, two, and one. Slam it down, up and over. Slam, up and over. Breath pattern, exhale, inhale, exhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Again, powering from that upper body. You have an imaginary medicine ball. We're slamming it down. 20 seconds. Then we go into that isolated twist. Five, three, two, one. Hold it down, clasp the hands, side to side. 10 to two. Now, hands stay clasped together. Push, push into the hands. 
Little waist whittler here. 20 seconds, then we go into that standing flexion. 15. 10. Four, three, two, and one. Elbows up, flex it forward, in and in. Each time, think about really drawing your abs inwards, in. Now what's nice about this workout is if you wanna do another round later on today, play the first like 15 minutes of it. 15 seconds left. Then we go straight into your high plank. 10. Four, three, two, and one, here we go, we're there. Hold it here. Options, if this is too much for your wrist, you can always lower down to your forearms. Head stays in line with your spine, meaning no heads draped into the doggy bowls. One long line. Nice and solid. You can always widen your stance with your feet as well to give you a little bit more stability. 10 seconds. And at home, you're gonna drop down to your left side. To the side plank. Three, two, one, and go. So in studio, we're on the right side. Lift your hips. Hip dip, thread the needle. Hip dip thread the needle. Now you can always do just the hip dips or just the thread the needle or just a side plank hold. Obliques, light them up. 15 seconds. Hips stay square, stacked. Three, two, one, onto your back, single leg stretch. Flex it forward, bicycling with the legs, eye gaze to your thighs. You can always do this with your upper body down. You should feel just the bottom tip of your shoulder blades grazing off the mat. We're almost there. Less than 10. Last set of our hip bridges. Three, two, one. Set the upper body down. Dig the heels, lift the toes, lift and lower. Up and down. Squeezing your glutes. Lengthening at your hips. So really digging those heels engages more of the center of the hamstrings. 10 seconds, then we're gonna go right into our stretching. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome job, just pull your knees into your chest, hold it here, and just gently rock from side to side. While you're doing this, I'm just gonna switch up my playlist here. Get a little bit more calming music on. And again, just rocking from side to side, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Let's go into our happy baby stance. So either holding onto the back of the knees, 
the front of the thighs, or if you're a little bit more flexible, grabbing onto the toes, and just allowing your knees to fall out to the sides of the room. Same thing with this, you can kind of gently rock from side to side, whatever feels good. Allowing for your pelvic floor to completely relax, your hips to completely relax, your hamstrings, inner thighs. And now go ahead and set both feet down to the ground. We're gonna do some arm circles. So this is just kind of general mobility for our shoulders. You're gonna do an inhale to reach the arms up towards your ears and exhale, circle the arms out and around and back down toward the sides of your hips. Inhale, reaching up, palms facing each other. Exhale, circle out and around to the hips. Again, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, out and around. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, swim around. One more. Inhale, reach. And exhale, swim. And now we reverse. Inhale, arm circle out and around. Then up by the ears. And exhale, return back down to the hips. Inhale, out and around. And exhale, return. While you do this, be mindful of your rib cage. So as you do an inhale, you'll naturally kind of flare out a little bit, and that's fine. But as you exhale, really knit the ribs in toward one another, engaging the tops of the obliques. One more inhale out and around, and exhale to return. Let's go right into your hip cradle stretch. Cross your left leg over the right, and then pull that right leg up into the air, and just hold it here. Stretching the hips. Deep breathing into your stretch. Good, now keep that figure four uh, position. You're gonna set your right foot down. Keep that knee directly out to the side. You're gonna allow the legs to kind of fall off to the right hand side. And you can use your right hand to help support onto the inside of that left leg too. Helps to kind of increase that stretch through your hips. Get a little bit of spinal rotation. And now return back center. Let's do the same thing other side. Cross the right over left. Left leg reaches up to the sky and hold it here. Stay here for about another 10 seconds and then go into that spinal twist. And now set your left foot down. Keep the angle of that right leg and then allow the legs to fall off to the left. Use that left hand to help support if you need to onto the inside of that right thigh. But if you're tensing up anywhere, kind of bring that focus there. Try to release as much as you can. Release through the back, your hips. And now return back center. Good, let's bring it onto our bellies and we'll get some extension. So onto the belly, onto your forearms. And you're just gonna reach up through your sternum hold it here now with your abs I want you to think about instead of allowing your belly to drape really pull in through your abs and kind of tuck the pelvis under to engage your glutes that may take some of the pressure out of your low back and shoulders I want you to think about drawing your shoulders down and away from your ears. Now stay in this position, you're just gonna allow your head to drape forward, stretching the back of your neck. And now bring the head back up. 
Let's go ahead and sink back to a child's pose. Bring the uh, big toes together, knees separated, and reach the arms forward long out from your shoulders. Allowing your forehead to just rest onto the mat. You can always double up the hands and bring them to your forehead if that helps support a little bit more. Now go ahead and walk your hands to the right hand side, really reaching long, stretching through the lats and your triceps. Take a deep inhale, expanding through that rib cage. It may kind of increase that stretch a little bit. And then exhaling through the mouth as if you're blowing through a straw. Keep going with this breath pattern. And now go ahead and let's walk it over to the left hand side. And now center it back out. We're gonna go right into our pigeon pose. Go ahead and bring your right leg forward. So it's bent and your left leg stays straight. Now you're either propped up to your hands or if you're a little bit more flexible, draw it down to your forearms, whatever feels best. Sometimes what I also like to do is kind of shift my hips from side to side and that helps to increase the stretch in different areas of the hamstrings and the glutes. And now go ahead and push up to your hands. Bring the right leg back. We'll do the same thing other side. I'm just gonna turn it around here. Left leg comes forward into that pigeon pose. Up to the hands or down to the forearms, holding it here. We'll stay here for about another 10. And press it back up to your hands. And then bring the legs back together. And let's do a little hamstring stretch. Send your left leg forward, square out your hips, hinge it forward. And back stays long. Now that same leg, you're gonna bring it outside or to the side. You're onto the inside of your left foot. Reach your arms up, and you're gonna flex toward the leg that is directly out to the side. You can always place the uh, hand down to your thigh to help support as well. And then restack your spine. Let's do the same thing other side. Right leg forward. Square out your hips, hinge it forward. And now walk the hands back up and bring that leg directly out to the side, nice and parallel. And then you're flexing down toward the leg out to the side. And go ahead and return back up. Let's come into all fours for a cat cow. Shoulders over the hands, hips over the knees. As you exhale, round your mid back up toward the ceiling. And inhale to extend. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Three more. And extend, last two, and extend, last one, and extend, and pressing yourselves 
step up into your downward facing dog. Feet about hip distance apart. Long through your sacrum and your spine. You can kind of pedal through your feet if that feels good. And now go ahead and just quiet your feet and walk your hands back toward your feet. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. As the last to return, roll your shoulders back. And that is it. Awesome job today. Thank you so much for joining class. Get outside, it's wonderful. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow for strength. Have a good one.